I'm going plant-based. You at least gonna eat some of Granny's chicken, you hear me? Mm-mm. Oh no, do we have a consensus? I didn't hear you. I think I'm gonna fail my style. Gra thing. Granny, you okay? Oh, baby, don't do it to me. <laughs> You're gonna be as flat as a pancake. Flat. Hey, beautiful people, it's Melissa from Choosing My Health, and I teach you how to easily transition to a whole food, plant-based lifestyle and thrive. And everybody has an opinion about going plant-based. Okay, what's the real deal? Today, we're debunking common misconceptions about vegans and going plant-based. The things people don't really wanna talk about, the things people don't really wanna say out loud, but they think in any way. I'll tell you why they're not true, so you can move forward with a plant-based diet without anything holding you back. Let's go. I don't get it, I mean, where do you get your protein? I think one of the biggest misconceptions about veganism or going plant-based is that people think they won't be able to get enough protein. It's true that animal products are a major source of protein in most diets, but it's not the only source. There are plenty of plant-based foods that are high in protein, including beans, lentils, quinoa, farro, nuts, and seeds. In fact, one study shows that vegans actually get 70% more protein than they need every day. Even more important than protein is that you're getting enough calories to meet your energy needs because protein deficiency is often linked to calorie deficiency. As a good rule of thumb, if you're getting enough calories from your plant foods, you're likely getting enough protein. So if you're considering going plant-based, don't let the protein myth discourage you. You'll be just fine. A lot of people think that plant-based and vegan diets are expensive. But isn't going vegan expensive? Like I once saw this salad dressing at the store and it was like $100. I mean, sure. If you're buying all your food from high-priced health food stores, it could be pricey. But you can also save a lot by going plant-based and here's why. For one thing, meat is usually one of the most expensive items on the grocery list. At time of publish, one pound of steak averages $7 and only feeds one or two people. Whereas one pound of beans averages $1.50 and can feed six adults, you do the math, honey. The four most expensive grocery items right now are meat, eggs, dairy, and oil. And speaking of oil, if you're interested in how to easily cook without oil and save some moolah, check out that vid linked below. So if you're not eating meat or any of these, you're automatically saving money, honey. Also, plant-based foods are often cheaper than processed foods. Even if you're buying some pricier dairy-free items like vegan cheese or mock meats, you're still probably spending a lot less than you would on animal products. So don't let the price tag scare you away from a plant-based diet. It might be cheaper than you think. A lot of people never go plant-based because they think it's hard to cook plant-based food. Listen right here, anyone can cook this food. Like no, for real. Actually cooking got easier after I went plant-based. Like cooking chicken was a chore for me. I had to put the raw chicken in vinegar, then take the skin off, then fight to take the fat off, then clean it some more, then season it overnight. It was a process. Now your process for cooking might not be so involved. I'm just sharing my pre-plant-based experience. And for a lot of people, you know, plant-based cooking may not be as easy as opening a can of soup or ordering takeout all the time, but it is totally doable and you don't have to be a master chef to throw down. All you need is an easy step-by-step -step recipe and repeated practice, and before you know it, you're cooking like a boss. If for some reason you believe plant-based people only eat lettuce and twigs, let me kindly inform you that this is far from the truth. There's a vegan slash plant-based version for just about everything under the sun. Pizza? Yeah. Cookies? Yup. Ice cream? Yep. Yes. Mozzarella cheese? Mm-hmm. Mac and cheese. Yes. Barbecue chicken. Yeah. Meatloaf. Just about everything. Lettuce isn't the only thing on the menu, honey. In fact, I eat more of a variety after going plant-based than when I ate meat because my world opened up to a plethora of food I didn't even know existed. In addition, there are plenty of delicious plant-based recipes out there that are easy to make and super tasty. Need some inspiration? Go ahead and check out my recipes playlist. For some people, the thought of changing their diet is just too scary. But the truth is, change can be good. And sometimes it is necessary. Like, what if this is the one thing to heal your high blood pressure or your asthma 
but you don't move forward because you're afraid of missing out on chicken, honey, or cheese. Like I know because I've been there, I'm speaking from a place of experience. In fact, you can check out my story in my before and after video. Honey, whatever it is, don't let the fear of change hold you back from what could be one of the biggest blessings of your life. Yes, it might be daunting at first, you know, new things can be that way, but if you take one step at a time, you'll be surprised at how easy it is to actually make the transition and blessings await you. So what you waiting on? Okay, so Granny, remember how I told you that I wanna be healthier? Okay, well you can be so proud of me because I'm going plant-based. Ooh, child, that sounds fancy. Where you going? I ain't going nowhere. It's a diet. A diet? Think of it more like a lifestyle. I'm gonna be eating tons of plants. I ain't gonna eat no animal products. Oh, child, what you mean? Well, you um, you at least gonna eat some of Granny's chicken, you hear me? Mm-mm. Oh, no, do we have a consensus? I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you say yes, baby. Mm-mm. Ooh, we don't have to get like that, Granny. I think I'm gonna fang on my thighs. Gr thing. Granny, you okay? Oh, baby, don't do it to me. <laughs> you're gonna be as flat as a pancake. Flat. Granny or not, people often think that going plant-based means that you're gonna be skinny and frail but this simply isn't true. In fact, many people go plant-based to thrive. There are plenty of healthy plant-based people who can attest to this. And if you've met any people who have gone plant-based but did end up becoming frail, it's highly likely that it wasn't because they went plant-based, but more so because they didn't properly balance their diet with the right nutrients. They didn't eat enough food and or they were affected by underlying health issues that actually had nothing to do with the plant-based diet. Now, it is true that when you go vegan or plant-based, a lot of people do lose weight, specifically unnecessary weight, okay, which for many people is welcomed. Either way, at the end of the day, as long as healthy is the goal and you pursue that, you'll be the healthiest version of you regardless of the size people say you should or shouldn't be. Look at here. Vegans help preserve the oceans. Vegans? Vegans are less likely to die from heart disease. Vegans save about 45 pounds of grain each and every day. Okay. Vegans are less likely to have a stroke and die of heart disease. Oh, they live longer too. It's just like, <laughs> so good to be a vegan. Come on. I'm not even trying to be judgmental. Okay. And if you offended, it's because you eating too many cows. I'm sorry. Okay, some people tend to think that all vegans and plant-based people I just like that, judgmental. But this is far from the truth. There are plenty of vegans and plant-based munchers who are open-minded and accepting. And while some may be judgmental, going vegan or plant-based is not what makes them judgmental. It's who they choose to be regardless of their diet. So if you're thinking about going vegan or going plant-based, don't let the fear of joining a group of judges hold you back. Regardless of your dietary choice, you can still be open-minded and accepting. This is yet another common misconception about plant-based diets. People often think that a plant-based diet is boring and restrictive because you can't eat meat. Fam, there are plenty of delicious and interesting plant-based recipes out there, not to mention the plethora of cuisines to try meat-free dishes from. I mean, you got Indian, Ethiopian, Caribbean, soul food, Mediterranean, American, the sky's the limit. And with more and more people going vegan, there's always new spots opening up. As you learn exciting ways to recreate the foods you used to eat and enjoy the brand new ones with both flavors, you're gonna fall in love. If you enjoyed this video, click or tap right here to learn how some of my plant-based all-stars have hacked this lifestyle and crushed it. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you have an amazing day. I love y'all and I'll see you in the next one.